Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you a keyword research strategy that your competitors are most likely not using. And this is actually the strategy that I've used to outrank huge companies like Zapier, SEMrush, and a bunch of other big companies in the marketing space as a tiny little marketing blog um, that I've been able to build. And <clears throat> this is the strategy that I use for my own blog. It's a strategy I use with SaaS clients that I work with. And I just wanted to kind of give it out there because I don't see a lot of people talking about it. Um, and I'm not going to ramble too much, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into this. Um, going to put myself down here and the first strategy with this is to just use Google and you really don't need any like paid tools for this um, href SEMrush these tools are great and I do pay for them um, and I do use them for like competitor research but when it comes to figuring out what you should create for yourself I don't think it's a good idea to look at what other people are doing I think it's to kind of the best idea is the best way to go about it is to pave your own lane um, and to kind of be the first to target specific keywords. Um, if you're looking at competitors that have targeted other keywords that are ranking pretty strongly, chances are you're not going to do as well as they are. And it's a lot better to just go after um, keywords that your competitors aren't thinking about. And this keyword research strategy actually works great for any website, beginner, brand new website, or, you know, advanced high domain authority website, um, especially this is great for beginner and smaller websites. Um, and the first thing is to actually just go into Google and start typing in things related to your niche, your industry, the pain point you're trying to solve, your products, your services, whatever. I'm gonna assume that you already kind of know this. Uh, so for example, if we start typing in like best uh, automation space, we can see all these tools, that, uh, all these keywords that come up, like best automation games, best automation tools. We can see best automation software, platforms. I can even continue to hit space and see what comes up. And these are all keyword ideas that people are searching in real time. Um, for example, <clears throat> for the sake of this video, I'm gonna show uh, an example for this company called Gumloop, which is this uh, AI automation tool that I've been really loving as of the past few months. And if I type in Gumloop and I hit space, we can see this is what people are searching in real time. Gumloop AI, Gumloop pricing, Gumloop revenue, Gumloop versus N8N, and so on. Versus Make, versus Zapier. These are things that people are searching today. Now, one thing you can do is once you find like a head term, in this case, Gumloop, um, you can just go ahead and start typing in random letters. So let's do like a Q. Um, we can see nothing really here. We'll just delete that. We'll do a W. We can see workflow, web scraping, WhatsApp. These are all new keywords that are coming up based off of doing this. We can try it again with E. Uh, we can see extension, examples, um, and then some other ones, which is just like the original ones. There's not a lot from E. We can type in R, revenue, Reddit, Gumloop reviews. Uh, and for the sake of this video, I'm gonna actually use this Gumloop reviews one. And what you want to do is use Google Autocomplete and gather a list of a handful of keywords. And what you want to do is you want to target the ones where keyword research tools like Ahrefs or SEMrush so show little to no search volume. Uh, and this is kind of considered these zero volume keywords. And these are the hidden gems that you want to target, especially if you're a brand new website. Uh, and if you're a website with a really high domain authority, well, you'll easily rank for all this stuff, as long as it's obviously related to your products and services and you have some sort of topical authority. Um, but in this case, I'm going to show you this example of Gumloop reviews into Ahrefs. Um, and I'm going to just use their keyword explorer and type in this keyword that we found through Google Autocomplete. And as you can see here, keyword difficulty, there is literally no information around this keyword. Um, as you can see, it does say search volume 10, but there's no traffic potential, global search volume 20. These are very low numbers. Your competitors or anyone you know just getting into SEO that's probably using these tools to find keywords to target for their website, if they come across this keyword, they're gonna see this and be like, there's no point in going after this. There's like no search volume for it. But because we saw it already populate in Google Autocomplete, it means people are searching it. And what you want to do next is you want to further validate if people are actually searching this keyword. Even though they are, we kind of want to get a ballpark of how many people are actually searching it and if it's trending. 
Now, what you wanna do is take this keyword and use another free Google tool, Google Ads. So in Google Ads, you can go to Google Keyword Planner. It's free, just Google it, make an account. As you can see, I'm using a really old account here. Um, and once you go to Google Keyword Planner, all you wanna do is go to uh, get search volume and forecasts. You want to paste in the keyword and you wanna hit get started. And now this is showing us that Gumloop Reviews actually has 10 to, uh, 10 to 100 searches per month. Um, we can see that the competition is fairly low. Generally for very good keywords, um, th they'll be like, uh, like trending keywords that I've, I've targeted on my site as well in the past. I've made videos about this on my YouTube channel that you can check out. Uh, just, uh, just look up marketer milk, uh, two words on YouTube. And you can see that, uh, in that video that this is like 900%. In this case, it says zero, but the fact that people are searching it and the competition is low. Now, granted, this is related to Google ads, not necessarily Google organic, but it can kind of help inform our organic strategy. I would say that this is a great keyword to go after. We're seeing this good, this good range. We're seeing people searching it in autocomplete. I would go after this keyword and write a really great blog post reviewing Gumloop. And that is exactly what I did. If we actually search this keyword, we can see that I rank number one for Gumloop Review, or Gumloop Reviews also, and there's a handful of uh, articles now writing the same thing. Um, and this is my blog post here that I wrote. And if we actually go into Google Search Console, so I can't believe I'm showing this, but in my Google Search Console, as you can see, um, this Gumloop Review article in the past 28 days has drove 846 clicks um, you know, like 30 clicks a day. Uh, and if you actually remember in HREP, it literally showed 10 and 20 as the global monthly search volume and Google autocomplete shows it. Google keyword planner shows that there is some data in there and the competition is low and bada bing, bada boom, almost a thousand clicks a month just from this one single blog post. And I have dozens i have almost 100 blog posts on my site so you can do the math um, on how much traffic i get but anyways I, this is a quick one i just wanted to show you this keyword research strategy um, and hopefully you learned something and now you can go out and actually find keywords that you have a good chance of ranking for um, again this is going to be a little bit manual of work to do uh, it's not as easy as going to a keyword research tool and exporting a bunch of keywords but that's not that effective this is the effective stuff that will actually put you far ahead of your competitors and give you a better chance of ranking not just in Google, but in other LLMs and in ChatGPT and other LLMs. All right, catch you in the next one. Peace.